Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can select data and change case. So first of all, I've got a couple of pages of text on the screen. I just want to go through some very basic different ways of selecting text. Some you may know, some you may not know. So normally when people select text, they just click on the screen and drag over the area that they want to select. So there's nothing wrong with that. And even if it's the whole line, they drag across the whole line. You can also double click on a word to select it. You can point to a row. Now watch this, if I go there and click, that will highlight the whole row. So I don't need to get my cursor there and start dragging like that. The reason I don't teach people to do that, if you want the, the whole row, what people tend to do, especially novices, so this isn't for um, users that have used Word for a long, long time. Novices tend to do this. They highlight it, then maybe their mouse is at the end of a table and they let go of their mouse button and then they think they're carrying on to highlight the rest of the line, but now they're actually picking it up. That little box symbol on the end of the mouse cursor means move. So I've accidentally moved that by just letting go of my mouse while I was selecting. I'll undo that with Control Z. So I always teach people, if you want to highlight a line, move to the left into the margin area. This is called the selection area in Word. Click in front of the line that you want to highlight and it will quickly highlight the whole line. Now also, if you're in this selection area, if you double click, it will highlight the paragraph. Now, you can double click in a paragraph to highlight a word, but if you three click, do three clicks, it also highlights a paragraph. If you do three clicks in the selection area, it highlights the whole document. But if you've got a bit of a sticky finger there and you can't actually control how many times you click it, that might be a bit off-putting. You can still go down the margin with the mouse pressed and select like so. You can also click and use your shift key to come down. I'm using the down arrow and it's highlighting the lines manually. And I can also use the shift key to highlight just single words or a couple of phrases like so. And if I use the shift key with the end button, it also goes to the end of the line. You can see that there. Now to change case, so at the moment this is in the right case, this is in what's called sentence case. You can do this. So if I double click on the margin area, the selection area, selection area highlighted that. On the ribbon, on the home tab, you have this option, change case. Sentence case is where it's on, but let's say you want it to go for uppercase. Let's change that to uppercase, and then I'll go back down to lowercase, and you can see this is not correct because it's taken everything off there, and I can go for sentence case. So now, because I've done that, I've sort of messed up Microsoft, so I need to right click on that and fix it and any of the words that should have a capital. So if you need, so say you type a word, so Steve, now when I press space there, it automatically puts a capital letter on, on that. But let's say, see that's got a capital letter on proficient. Let's say I don't want that. I could just double click on that and go to change case, put it to sentence case. Or if I wanted to put a capital letter on that, I could go capitalize each word. Of course, you can just click into it and backspace and delete it and put a capital letter on. But there, there is a key command that allows you to change case. And it's shift key down and the F3 function key. And it will rotate through three of those cases, those options at the top. It rotates through three of these just by using the shift key and F3. You can see this toggle case as an option that is set uh, in uh, the autocorrect feature to automatically fix itself if you accidentally had capitals on. Let's see if I can do that. Normally if you're not a fast typist, so I'll put caps on, then I'll do shift. So I think I'm doing a capital letter, but I've done a small letter how are you 
you see it automatically changed it as I typed. What happens normally though, you start typing, if you're not looking at the screen, you start typing and then you look up and you realize that you've had it on capitals and then you tend to highlight it and delete it and type it again before it gets a chance to be fixed or you don't remember that you can actually do it up there. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video. This is just a quick look at how to select text, the best way to select text and how to change case if you need to. So hopefully that was of use to you. Thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next one.